We have Calvin Joseph in the red corner. Hybrid MMA and Daniel Digby from Orphans MMA in the blue corner. Wow, uh, what a fight. These boys are going to have a war. I don't, if I'm going to be honest, I don't blink because it ain't going to last that long. Last time Calvin was in here, he won the welterweight title. So he is currently a Shuriken title holder and he's going for the middleweight one. And Dan Digby, last time he was in here, he fought Arthur. Arthur was seeking for a title and lost to Arthur. So this is going to be crazy. Both boys just getting down to business. Wow. And Simon Chris hands from Dan Digby. See if Kelvin's up to it. These boys both high level grapplers in jiu-jitsu. Dan with an amazing, because Dan's actually a back well, from in the, uh, Dan Digby's been a black belt for what, a year, two years, couple of years. He's got a very high level game on the ground. So that's where he's most comfortable. Kelvin. Kelvin also very underrated ground game, but he likes to stand and bang a bit more. Bit of ground and pound there from Digby. He's looking, he's looking to Kelvin's looking to make a little bit of space, but will he be able to? Will he be able to get up and go down there? I don't know. Dan looks like he's trying to get into a mount there. There's Kelvin up to it. This is where it's all going to be won and lost. It's on the ground between these two boys. Dan looks like he's possibly got a mount there. Looking very close. Kelvin's trying to throw him and Kelvin looks like he's turned him. But Dan is okay on the back. He loves it. He loves being on the back. He's looking for that triangle. You've got to be very careful with him. But Calvin equally loves to ground and pound from here. He will keep on it and he will keep hitting him. He's got a heavy underhook. Dan can't go anywhere from there. And this is not a good position for Dan. He was in this last time. And look at that back and forward boys slipping out. Dan straight into side control. He's got the hand through there. He's holding that leg. This is not a, not a good position for Calvin Joseph to be in, but he's managed to fight out of it. He's looking for a triangle from there, which is very, very close. Dan's just choking his head in, and he's, Calvin's moving around lightly to where he needs him, and eats a shot in the head, in the face for that. Dan's kind of holding him in there, we wonder what he's looking for. It looks like he's kind of looking for a triangle, but goes for the mount there. This is really very high level grappling from these boys. They're both very good, very good at jiu-jitsu. Dan's gonna look to just ground and pound from there. Calvin, what he wants to do is posture up, grab him, pull him in, keep him tight so that he can't actually let those hands and elbows go. And you see Dan there with his hand over the face, just disrupting his breathing a little bit, pushing in. Calvin managing to walk the wall and turn him over. This is what Ground MMA is all about. This is high level. You will not see it at any better competition than this. Can Kelvin impose his will on him now? This is a question. Dan looking for the armbar. Kelvin's going to the back. And this is where Kelvin can do some damage. And this is where Dan lost it last time against Arthur Lasiki. Can it, will it happen again? It could be deja vu all over again. Let's see. These are heavy shots. Kelvin's got him. Hands are linked. Calvin's got those hooks in there. I thought maybe he had a cut to the face, but it's just from the nose. So. Yeah, just just a few little telltale signs that you've had it had a little a few hits here and there. And this is not good for Dan. This is not where any fighter wants to be. And Calvin has got some serious power in those hands. If he unleashes it on you, it's not going to be good. And it, Calvin just needs to keep pouring it on. This is where he's gonna he's gonna win this round if he keeps pouring it on. He shouldn't be looking for the choke. He's trying to flatten him out here. You'll see he's trying to flatten him out. And this is where Arthur beat Dan Digby last time. Was flattening him out and just hammering ground and pound from the top. Calvin seems to be looking for this choke, and he should just be striking. This is exactly where Dan is never, ever comfortable at all. And it looks like he might have it. He might have something there. How tight is it? 
Dan looks like he's okay. He looks like he's rolled out of it. Calvin looks like he's turning now, and this could be reverse situation now. Dan's gonna look for that choke. He's looking to get a hook in, and this is where Dan's at his deadliest. He will get that hook in, and he will get that hand around your neck. He's only got 10 seconds to do it. I don't think he's gonna have enough time. Saved by the bell. It's Well, the starting round too, just like uh, Like where they live. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Wow. Some big punches going in there. And that's where this, where this fight will get very interesting. Keep it getting a leg, getting him down. Yeah. And that's where Dan's game is. Dan fights on the ground. These boys are all tired. You see Calvin there, he's really cranking on that arm. He's trying to make it uncomfortable. And he's got it from the bottom here. This is not a comfortable position to be in. Can he roll him? He's pushing tight. Can he actually do some damage? I've seen somebody submit somebody from the ground here before. But that is tight. And he manages to reverse it. What a amazing block there. He wasn't going to tap. He wasn't going to tap with Slam Digby. He would never tap. But it managed to give Kelvin the, the advantage check where he has now got half in half guard. And he's now working on that arm. And he will continue to work from there. You'll be watching a bit of the ground and pounds. Bit of the bit of making it a little bit uncomfortable for Dan Digby in the bottom there. Which is exactly what he's doing. Those pounding elbows into the back of the ribs there. Oh, those will be winding you. Taking the wind out of you. And he's just going to keep raining those down. How long can you lie there for? And now what you're going to see is Dan's going to try and go and hop. But Calvin's managed to do that. He's the underhook. So now, Calvin's going to do He's going to roll him over. Has he got him? Dan looks like he's trying to pass it. Calvin's just equaling up to the challenge there. This is amazing ground and ground game from both, both participants in this fight. Well, you called it, you said that Calvin Joseph had an underrated ground game, and you can see it here, he's, he's up to the challenge. Yeah, I think, I think I'm, I might be mistaken here, but I think Calvin might actually be a purple belt um, in jiu-jitsu, and he's equaling up to the task against a very qualified and accomplished black belt in the cage at the moment. So, that's why I'm saying, underrated, yes, he might be a purple belt, but it doesn't mean that he can't stand and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a grappler of this nature, because he is at the moment. And if you look at that, that is severe ground and pound. And this is where the fighters won the last. Can he break him enough to win where he wants to go? He's managed to move out of side control. There. And if you have a look there, Dan's trying a triangle from there. And he looks like he's got it on. I've, I've never seen this before. It's a, it's, a, it's a triangle from the side. It's like a modified DOS type choke. And he's moved him over and he's managed to turn him. This is a game of chess, back and forward. Who's got the best one? Damn it, just be careful there with those strikes to the head. It was warned by the referee, rightfully so. Calvin's gonna sit, and he, Calvin completes that single leg takedown there. But Dan's going for that arm. Calvin looks like he's up to it, and he pops out, and Calvin gets mount. Oh, this is just back and forward. He's got those hooks in now, and now Calvin's got an opportunity to unleash a bit of pain on him. Can he finish it at this point? I don't know. Well, Dan Bigby, he's, 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 he seems to get out of everything. Can he get yeah. out of this? He is relentless. The only reason the fight with Arthur and him just stopped because Arthur was just heavy on the ground and pound and managed to absolutely knock him off his feet on the ground. Calvin and them, these guys are both tired. The punches aren't doing too much damage. One minute to go. Pick up a counter. One minute remaining. What is Calvin going for? Is he, is he trying to sink in a choke here? I'm not quite sure at the moment. Is it on? I don't know. Is that on? Is Dan Digby going to choke? Calvin's fighting for it. You can see he sprawled his legs out. Calvin should just hit him. Just keep hitting him. He's not going to choke him. He's a black belt. Hit him. That's what Calvin should be doing. Calvin looks like he might have this. He's got him. He's got him. Calvin has got him. Oh my, did you see that? 
Calvin has got it. Oh my, what a, what a win by Calvin Joseph.